Alrighty, good morning, good morning. It is time. <laughs> it is the fullness of time. Wonderful morning to all of you. Thank you so very much for coming on. Very good morning to you, woman of God. All right, Miss Tracy, come on. It's time, it's time. Greenville, South Carolina, good to have you. Highly favored one. <laughs> All right, uh, the butlers are in the house. Good morning, good morning, good morning uh, to you. We are so grateful, so thankful. Philly, oh my goodness. One of those cities in transformation. Philadelphia, you guys better rise up. Uh, there is a word for Philadelphia. Good morning to you, Bishop Keith. Thank you so much for everything, man of God. Did you really enjoy the conference? I am so thankful. I definitely want to get your feedback in some places. Harrisburg, Brooklyn, very good. Mass Everett, Massachusetts. Wow. want to bless you this morning. I have a word from Massachusetts. Prophetess Mich Micheline Gibson and her twin. Love you both. All right. Good, good, good. Tuesday morning. I saw something terrific, too. Tuesday. I think I might have to do terrific Tuesdays. Port, Port St. Lucie, Florida. Is that right? Oh my goodness. I have some family down there. Syracuse, New York. Good to have you on as well. I am so thrilled and honored. My voice is definitely a little crazy, but welcome. Brunswick, Georgia, down there in the southern plain of that great state. Wonderful. Oh, Miss Janine, enjoy the conference. You and your friends. Oh, we've been blessing you. Thanking God. Good morning, Sharnisa. I love you. Oh, thank you so much. All right. From Baltimore, Karen, wonderful to have you. Chicago, Nashville. Oh, we love you guys. We've been missing you, but we have been pressing into our assignment because I realize I can't get you to yours if I'm not where I need to be, right? So I am thanking you all this morning uh, for, for being on with me, thanking you for uh, who you are and what you do. And so if you would invite your followers, absolutely tell them it's, it's Terrific Tuesday. I'm taking that from one of our scopers this morning. Terrific Tuesday. Philly better rise up. Now, you better say that. Uh-huh. Uckers, boy, you want to be with me? You better stop your madness this morning because we don't play with y'all. It's time for us to be serious. Ain't no playtime is over. You don't know how to get on the scope and get some knowledge that's going to change your world. You better go somewhere and sit down because it ain't time to be playing and, and, and trolling. You better stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Greetings from England. Good morning to you as well. We're so thankful to have you uh, there. Thank Thank you. God is restoring my voice because <laughs> that's what I'm working with. And that's what I'm training you to work with, the voice. If we don't have nothing else, we better have value, volume, and voice. That's what we better have. Diplomat Linda, good to have you from Laurel this morning. Love you. Appreciate you so very much. Good morning from North Carolina. Woman of God, blessings to you for being on with us. Oh, thank you. You are welcome. I don't know the full scope of the thank you, but you are welcome because we've been doing so many pieces uh, to try to get, yeah, the three V's. You got that value, volume, and voice. That's what we need. Well, once again, uh, you all are on, chimed in on this terrific Tuesday uh, with me here on Power Scope uh, with Yolanda Powell. I am so delighted to have you on with me. I know it's been a minute and we have been inconsistent. But listen, when I'm inconsistent, it's only because I'm preparing for greater consistency. All right. So definitely don't throw me away. Don't kick me under the bus because I am always thinking of you thinking about the kingdom and thinking about how do we penetrate these mountains. So uh, I am just definitely understanding that there is a, a consistency that's needed. But the, the army and the battalion that we are raising up need to know that I am always strategizing. I am a strategist by nature. I am always looking at the terrain, looking across the landscape, trying to understand what time it is. And I told you all, I don't talk till I know. I don't gibber and I don't jabber. When it's time, we know what we need to do. Good morning for all oh, from Mount Vernon. I saw you. Illinois is also here. Good morning all over the country, all over the globe. We are so thankful for your presence. So thankful for those hearts uh, coming and going 
going already. We bless you. And listen, this is, I do not have a, a titled piece. I did put on uh, some things uh, for the giants and casting down uh, giants of illusion, but that's what I heard when I got up this morning. It was just very clear. I was going to keep sleeping because I am tired as a, as a bug. <laughs> I've been moving with stealth all over the, all over the realms. Uh, on Saturday, of course, you know, we did our Power Speak live, uh, live event with more than a hundred marketplace ministers in the house from over five states. Uh, awesome time. The Lord was so pleased. And I've spent some days, uh, some hours with him over the la last few days just saying, Papa, will you please? Because you know, you're so glad when others are pleased, but you want to look in his eyes and say, did we do what you wanted? Uh, did you get what you were after? And he's able to look me and hold me in my face as he always does. Kiss me on my forehead and say, my daughter, my, and he calls me sometimes his female son. So sometimes when it's really been, been juicy, he'll say daughter. And when it's been war, he'll say my female son. So I got the both. I got the, I got the, the juicy kiss. And then I got the look in the eye uh, that said, you are ranking, you are a general and you can handle my affairs. And I am proud of you as a female son. So I got both. And I'm so thankful to the Lord uh, for entrusting me with great assignments for him. And I want to acknowledge you. Uh, I want to encourage you that he is doing the same for you, that there are greater, br greater and brighter and bigger assignments coming for your life. Uh, you have been staying a little bit back. You've been thinking you're not the one. Uh, you have been wondering if and when, but God told me, woke me up and tell me that you are to begin to cast down giant illusions. <laughs> Those giant illusions that keep you from taking mountains. Those giant illusions that keep you from being where you need to be, doing what you need to do, and showing up with all of your arsenal, all of your artillery, and all of your wherewithal. You and I have to cast down giant illusions. They are only illusions. They cause a cast a shadow against a small object. That small object puts itself against a larger object and it appears bigger than it looks. So if you and I look just at the image that's cast in the light, we're looking at a shadow or an illusion. Oh my God. And so we just gotta, we gotta be able to handle, uh, the fact that things that the enemy does are always illusions. He is not as big. He is not as strong. He is not as stealth as we, uh, as we imagine. So we have got to sanctify our imaginations because it's causing us to not fulfill our assignment. We keep doing like the, like the tribe, the spies that went into the land. That is not just Bible history. That is Bible direction. We are to look at those spies that went into the land and take lessons for our life. Oh, come on here. We are to understand that there are always going to be elements and issues that look bigger than us, stronger than us, more powerful than us, more, more wow and grand and wonderful than us. But we've got to know not what it looks like, but what we carry on the inside. You and I have to know this, beloved. We've got to be very clear that greater, come on, is he that is within you and me than he that is in the world by illusion. <laughs> God, don't y'all stop me this morning. Y'all know I don't have a lot of energy and a lot of breath, but I command myself. Come on here. Tell me, say hashtag command myself. I've got to command myself. Stop playing with yourself. Stop being too, too nicey with yourself. When it is time to do it, do you know, as the English say, do you know how to pull yourself by the scruff of the neck? Do you know how to rouse yourself? Those are old English terms, but they apply to us. Do you know how to pull yourself out of neutral? God, oh, do you know how to pull yourself and push your gear out of neutral? Because that's where too many of us find ourselves. Come on. First, I hashtag command myself. And then second, come on here. I push myself out of neutral. 
God, if I am going to cast down giant illusions, I've got to know how to command my soul. Huh, come on. Come on, soul. You don't know what the spirit knows. You have to command your soul. Command yourself. Tell yourself not today. We are not sitting. We are not going to be quiet. We are not laying in the bed <laughs> for another hour. Get your tail up. <laughs> I'm sorry. Can I just do it? What I do it? That's how I do me now. I'm just. I'm not trying to be offensive, but you got to talk to yourself like that sometimes because sometimes we're too nice. And I've told you all, nice is not a fruit of the spirit. So you don't have to worry about offending God when you're not nice. What you have is kind, but you don't have to be nice. Now listen, I don't get on this scope all the time, but when I get on here, I don't know what these demons are that don't like me, but I don't care. I'm going to keep coming. Is that all right? Because I, I just saw it go black. Now, what devil is that? What devil is that that said, okay, when Yolanda Powell get on Power Scope and on Periscope, we're not going to do it. Are y'all hearing me? Can y'all hear me? I need to know if I'm, if I'm, if I'm in or out. All right. Talk to me because I need to know. Yes. Yes. All right. So we are going to be, we're going to be clear with this thing. Commanding ourselves is a requirement of the army of God. We don't need somebody else to always have to be pushing on us to do something. You and I have to begin to command. Then we have to push. So command, push, command, push. Once you command yourself to get up and moving, then you push yourself out of neutral. So you go from laying a sitting position to move to up position. When you get in that upward position, then you push forward out of neutral into acceleration. Acceleration becomes important because we have places to go and people to see and assignments at task. We have things. Now, this is what's going on in the land. Before I go there, <clears throat> before I go there, I want to stop. Because many times I'm, I'm what you call an atmospheric preacher or an atmospheric teacher. That means when I get into the atmosphere of the matter, I don't care what I prepared. The atmosphere gets in my radar and it uploads itself in my system. And so I speak to that. And it's hard for me to, <laughs> to do it just in a very rote way because I'm picking up so much in the atmosphere. And soon as I got on Periscope this morning, so many things were in the atmosphere. Uh, that I had to address those first. So sometimes it will seem like, what is Dr. Yolanda talking about? But I'm only uh, trying to address uh, the atmosphere that's being uploaded in my system at the time. So I don't want to seem a little scatterbrained because I teach people to speak on point and to speak to the point and to move by the point. So I need to do the same. Uh, but just because I'm almost apostolic, that means I'm always uh, watching and looking and, and assessing uh, what's going on around me. So give me a, give me me a minute and be gracious toward me. All right. On that first, before I move on, let me do proper protocol. Let me do proper courtesies and let me thank a couple of people for power speak live. I've got to stop and do that. Uh, the first thing I want to say is to my team. I want to say to Michelle McElwain here in um, Bowie, Maryland, who has been our lead team person. I want to say thank you to, to Michelle for all of the pieces, all of the time, all of the dollars, all of the investment of energy uh, that she has put. Uh, so uh, please, please, please let me give kudos uh, to, to Michelle on that. And then the second person that has came out of and, and, and evolved out of Periscope is one of my Periscopers. Her name is Don Sanders from uh, Ohio. And Don became our IT person. All of you who are live streaming, all of you who are able to see the full scope of the day uh, need to say thank you to Don because Don, D-A-W you in a prophetess, a woman of God, a brilliant mind, a mover and shaker in entrepreneurial pursuits, uh, really came alongside of me and my team and said, I've, you've got a scope. We, we're here with you on Periscope, uh, but you got to scope it through live streaming. You got to show us what you do and how you do it so that those of us from afar can really be in the room and with you. So I want to give a hundred hearts, a, a, a hundred thousand hearts, 10,000 
hearts, one million hearts to dawn uh, for all for prophetess dawn and for IT dawn and for business woman dawn and for techie dawn for being so multitasked and so uh, able to help us. All right. So I wanted to make sure I got those two people uh, out of the way first. And then all of you who joined us uh, by live stream, I, I am so thankful from around the country, I think from Washington State, clear down through California, across Texas, up through Michigan, across through the, the southern states. Uh, you were there in the room and then across the mid, uh, the mid plane of the country and around south the south and up through the mid-Atlantic. Thank you all so very much uh, for being with me for Power Speak Live. Now that's proper protocol. I should have got that out of the way before I start fighting devils. All right. So blessings to you all. Thank you so very much for that. Now let's get down to business because listen, yesterday, I'm sitting looking at the Washington Post. I hear and I see several things going on in several regions, including Philadelphia, Massachusetts, Washington, and Atlanta, Georgia. Here's what's going on. As of yesterday and, and several days last week, and I, I think I've got my timing right, is that the, the Satanist church has begun a movement to make presentations to local school boards asking to present to them an opportunity to have after-school Satan clubs. Mm. After-school Satan clubs. What these um, contractors and organizers are wanting to do is they want to be able to get in the school systems after school and present like we, uh, like believers uh, present good news clubs. They are looking constitutionally to say, let us present to the children a uh, satanic side and, and that there is another side and, and that they could choose. Now, listen, you and I have to understand that I'm talking about seven mountains here. That means that in every mountain, and education is one of them, you and I have to rise up. We have to stand tall and we have to move forward with stealth. We've got to understand what's happening in our social places so that we can move uh, and position ourselves on these mountains. Now, I needed you to know that that's the backdrop of my scope today because I, I'm, I'm not fully ready to tell you how to maneuver on that. I just need you to understand that many things, many giants are in the land. The, the, that club and that desire of the Satanist church to be in the school system tells us that we are needing to do some things differently in this coming season and this coming school year than we have done prior. So I'm just getting the troops on, on, on fleek. Come on here. I need you to be your, I need your face fully ready. I need your eyebrows cut. I need your face done. I don't need you to be sleepy. I don't need, I need you to be in full makeup and full readiness for what is happening with our children come fall. So between all of August, we need to be preparing in prayer. I want to give shout outs to Chris and Kim Epps who are up at believe early as 5 a.m. They're coming up early to pray for children. So they, they, they are a beast and they are really working. And so I want to give kudos to the Epps in South Carolina for what they're doing uh, for the children by praying. We probably need to be organizing those around the country, particularly where uh, county governments are having to give ear to these clubs. Our babies need real warriors. Our babies don't need us to be dealing with illusions in this season and giants that keep our mouths closed. They need real protection. I'm not talking about they got a nice book bag. Oh, that's so cute. And they got their nice new jeans in school. I'm talking about we have got to begin to not just pray. I love it that you're praying and interceding. That's numero uno. But after that, you also need to begin to train your children in your own houses. You need to be telling them that there are forces that hate God and hate the God that's in them and that they are number one commodity in the marketplace and in ministry today. Children 
children are sought after by satanic principalities and powers because they want them young. The other thing that happened this week is that Harry Potter has gotten a new facelift and they are rolling out a hundred million dollar campaign for children who are older now to revisit the Harry Potter series. Now, I'm saying to you all that this is critical seven mountain intel. It means that the enemy is upping the ante and he is hoping that you and I will stay in church and do a little dance and do a little shout and say, hope Jesus comes soon. And I'm looking you in your face this morning and I'm telling you, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus is in you, the hope of glory. And get rid of that religious mindset that says Jesus is coming back and then we going to do something. No, Jesus in you going to do something. Christ in you, the hope of glory. Christ is in his body and it is the body of Jesus Christ that's going to handle his business in this season. Now remember the word. The word is clear. Jesus said, I'm done. I, I, I paid the penalty. I got you out of jail. I paid your bill. Come on. I handled your sin issue. I got you straight with all the penalties and all the issues that were against you. I took them with me. We nailed them to the cross. Then I took the hit. Come on here. I took the hit for me. I said, ransom be paid. When ransom was paid, blood was shed. Blood and water came out his side. He handled the issues. The Bible says that he went down into the hell zone and he took the keys. Come on, say, brata roboto. He took the keys to hell, to death, and to the grave. Once he did that, he was able to give to us, watch this, the ability to run and do greater works so that we would handle the issues of this planet and every demonic force that's assigned here. Then he does something even more exemplary. He sits himself down. Wait a minute. Jesus handles the cross, deals with the constitutional issues against him and his bride and his body, sits himself down at the right hand of the father, puts his feet, wait a minute, up and looks at his toes and says, I'm going to sit here until every enemy be made my footstool. In other words, I don't have a footstool yet, but every time you all do what you're supposed to do, I get another demonic stronghold under my feet. So I'm going to sit here until y'all finish your job, until you finish your assignment, until you handle the affairs. Am I talking right? Come on here. And I'm serious. We've got to be serious. This is no time to be religious. This is war status. This is military operatives. Come on here. We cannot be playing church. That is not what God left us to do. That's not what Jesus died. He died for us to take back seven mountains. He died for us to bring his glory into the earth realm. He died for us to finish what Adam and Eve dropped. They dropped the assignment. They got kicked down by the enemy. And the second Adam says, it shall not be the same with the second Eve. Come on here. I got me a bride that can handle the business of God. She is a princess, queen, wa walking woman and, and war, but she's also a warrior. She's a woman. Yes, yeah, she's a bride, but she's also a a warrior. Now let me do this and I got to get out of here. The only reason he made her a woman is is, is reflective and, and, and proto prolific the way he made the woman in the beginning. He made her, uh, I can't go into the details of it, it's too much, but he made her a bearer of life. He made her one with a womb. So she is a man with a womb. In other words, she's able to bring forth life. That is what the body of Christ is supposed to do as a prototype of the woman. In Genesis 1, she's to be the the woman, the living bride of Christ who brings forth life. In other words, whatever he, the man sires in her, whatever he seeds in her, whatever his ideals are, whatever his DNA nature is, she carries that in her womb and then she bursts that out of that womb and others will see, wow, look at that man's seed. That's what the bride, I'm going too deep, but I got to say it. Uh, that's what the bride is supposed to do. She is supposed to bear life 
wife, she's supposed to show him his image. She is to show him his image after she has been with him and his ideas. And when he lays his head in her lap, Jesus said that the son of man had nowhere to lay his head head. And the, the foxes have holes, birds have nests, but the son of man ain't got no woman. He's got no bride. He's got nowhere to go in and say, this is what I want to see for the for my future, for my legacy. And so we, the bride, male and female, become the place of life-giving source to the wisdom and the desire and the seed of the groom called Christ. You and I got to do this. We can't play this. We got to cast down these giant illusions that make us think that the world is bigger than us, that the Marriott is bigger than us, uh, that Verizon is bigger than us, you know, that the, the Florida Power and Light Company is bigger than us. All of these commerce issues, all of these uh, giant issues, the Constitution, the, the United States Capitol, the presidential office, we have gotten a small mindset uh, that is that is saying to us, they are like giants in in our sight and we are not able to do this but what I'm saying to you is that God the God of all eternity the God of all power and authority dwells in you and I and he is expecting us to cast down giant illusions and to handle the businesses and the issues of the day whether that's the school issue uh, that's going on whether that's an, a political issue whether that's a justice issue uh, whatever the issues are the bride has has the answer because the bride is the body of Christ. And if we're looking for Christ, we need to look at each other and say, welcome Christ. Yes, you are the one we've been waiting on. And that's what I'm saying to you today. You are the one we've been waiting on. We're not looking up into the heavens anymore. We're looking at you. I'm looking at you this morning and I'm saying, cast down everything that tells you you cannot do it, that you cannot handle it, that you do not carry it, that you cannot finish it, that you cannot show up and show out and do the great works of God, the greater works can you do. All right. So I got to run. I know it's I've been long, but I just wanted to to remind you of the, of the greatness in you. I wanted to, to remind you that the giants are mere illusions. I want you to tell you that you have the power to cast down I want to let you know that there is no greater people, no greater army, no greater movement in all the earth than the one called Christ Jesus, the Lord. And we're not looking for him. Hear, 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 hear ye, hear ye this. You are him. I am him. We are him. We keep looking for Jesus to come back. Jesus is here. Yeah, I said it. Jesus is here. He is working through us and he is going to do through us us what he said greater work come on hashtag greater works blessings to you i gotta let you go again i want to thank you you've been on with me for power scope i am dr yolanda powell i am an apostolic reformer a leadership strategist a power speaker and i am raising up army a voice to nothing uh, we are not afraid of illusionary giants we have a sanctified and a power packed imagination for god and we will do whatever it takes to take the head off of every Philistine that's trying to war against the army of God. So that's who you are. Walk heavy, walk strong, walk tall, walk powerful, and don't take down for nobody. I love you. I'm praying for you. And I look forward to touching you again uh, in the days ahead to let you know that you all that and some. Come on, tap, 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 tap. I'm all that and some. <laughs> I love you. Have a great Tuesday because it's a terrific day to be a giant slayer. All right. Blessings and bye-bye.